actual tour. This guy's perfect. And I just have and I just have not done nightclub. <laughs> I, Wait, I, what? I, I'm Wait, literally actually No no I just I'm just TOing. I'm I'm calling bracket matches. I'm saying like yo B bats and smuckers play winter semis on stream right now, get kneed in the Ooh. face. Rip B bats, first off. Now I'm doing it on commentary. <laughs> oh. So B bats is here after uh, beating Mont Money in a pretty thrilling upset on his part. Second time ever that he's beating my money. So he's playing really well today. And now going down that deep, getting wow. the down air into the nair was beautiful. That's beautiful stuff for B Bats. Last time he was here, Captain Smokers kind of uh kind of tore him up. But B Bats is here. He's out, he, he's out for revenge. He, he wants his revenge. He wants to win the tournament. It's his birthday. It is definitely his it birthday. It is his birthday. He wants the birthday run. It's crazy that he has to contend with other birthday players. He has to contend with like five birthday players. <laughs> it's I mean, there are only cakes for three. So B Bats. <laughs> Wally and uh, Aklo, it's all around their birthdays. And then my birthday was last weekend. And then, huh? Thank you, thank you, appreciate it. And then Mont Money's birthday was, will be on Friday, I'm pretty sure, Saturday. Oh, it's coming. So there's five players. I just heard Peach die <laughs> from, from the audio. The audio is like a little delayed on my part, so I definitely heard Peach just take a whack aerial to the face and die. So Maybe it's, it's only a matter of time before we see it. I only heard the screen. I heard the screen, yeah. <laughs> There we go. Oh, it oh died up B. Didn't even wow. die. Wow. B bats are three socks to one. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. What happened? This I don't even know. 2 0 to death back to back. B bats to see. Like, the thing is, you gotta realize, B bats sees his bracket and he's like, okay, I barely beat Mon Money. Mon Money is up like 900 million sets against me. I see Captain Smuckers in my way. And Captain Smuckers is up a million sets against me. Even the fun fact, uh, Captain Smuckers was Vibats' first big win. Back oh, in the Netplay nice. days, at Untitled East Coast. <laughs> at an, uh, it was before rollback. This was Whoa. before rollback. Oh, and Vibats beat Smuckers at Smuckers' first Netplay tournament. And <laughs> so that's, I'm guessing this is before Smuckers switched the box. Yeah, it was before. I think it was before Smuckers switched the box. I don't actually know. I think he only switched the box after something. Yep, then yeah, it was before. And it was Vibats' first big win. And now it all comes full circle. Maybe. I mean, it's only game one, and... True. Ooh. Raw down smash. Ooh. Okay. Clean there on the up B. Should be dead, just cover the ledge, and B-Bats takes the game. There we are. You're yeah, looking stuff. Even he's got the AirPods in. Got the AirPods in, he's focused, got those trees on his shirt. He's not listening to Smuckers asking what his band is. <laughs> he doesn't, he doesn't. What band? Best of five. Oh, you're right. Go back to battle for this Tri-State. That wave, so he DIs out of the Nair, and then wave lands into the stage away so he can get the down smash. <laughs> Actually insane wow. defensive, and the DI on that part to avoid the knee was so good on B-Bats' part. Like, there's the whole idea, uh, the whole like trope of Peach being like this defensive tank, yeah. but you gotta understand, like if you mess up even once or you don't know your DIs perfectly to like, to a T, you will get air wobbled by Falcon and die at any percent. And B Bats knows this, and he is practicing. He's played Panos enough. He's played like Mech a million times on rollback. He ain't stopping. And you know, he's ready. Look at this DI. He's trying his hardest not to get air wobbled. And at the end of the day, <laughs> it's still happens. He's just getting die. air wobbles. Sometimes you just can't do anything about it. And that's just the reality of Falcon. Ooh, soft into, yeah, yeah soft into hard. That was really good on Smoker's part. Like. I'm not disturbing to Smokers at all. Smokers is a punish game on Peach. He plays Ryabit so often, it's unsurprising Ooh. that his punish game is just perfectly spaced nares to not get grabbed right there. Yeah, absolutely. Really, really good stuff for me, Bats. Got the Dream Turnip, gets the clean 70%. This is the edge cancel, gets grabbed. Gets the uh, gets up protect chase. Ooh. Kind of shark up airs. Second time, kind of went for that running grab and then punish for it. Yep. He's doing these wave dashes back and like floating back and forth in really, really quick motions. So he can potentially try to trade with Nair into Smucker's, uh, what is it, aerial approaches. Because Falcon, although, that was something. That, that's although Falcon's aerials are really good, he has a lot of startup on it. And if he's at a percent lead, Peach is able to get trades and just build that percent lead over and over. Because it's very difficult to just keep Falcon out. Like, Falcon outspeeds you. He can jump out frame that as you. Yeah, exactly. He's he's faster. So if you can just keep getting trades, which is what B Bats is trying to do, you can maintain this percent lead and just get a clean down smash or a clean up throw or a clean dash attack and get stuck. And he's doing a great job of doing this. That was amazing drift by Oh yeah, for sure. Yup. 
Oh, Herman, yeah, grab cool. the ledge. Oh, wow. And b -Bats is up 2-0 against well, another one of his demons. New Jersey's coming out to play today. Colonel Smuckers, he's a type to like randomly speed up. Yeah, he could, I mean, he definitely could. I mean, you can't count Smuckers ever. We've seen him make electrifying comebacks before, and his character is definitely the one that can, you know, take very quick stocks off of Peach, as we've seen before. And we're seeing right now, I mean, Falcon can air wobble Peach. <laughs> you can never count on Falcon in this matchup. Ooh, it looks pretty hard here. Yeah. Wow, knowing that hitbox right there, hitting, I think, like, as, as uh, Falcon's flipping, getting his feet. Yeah, if, if you know the hitbox, you're able to get a good punishment. But it's also, like, very tricky to hit that. It's, it's the timing and the hitbox itself are both weird. So you just gotta be practicing it. And it's not that easy to play this matchup nowadays. I mean, there's not a lot of, like, Peaches just in general anymore. And it's very hard to find a Falcon who's willing to spend a lot of time playing Peach. Turn up, drops the turn up down, but gets just hung by the up B. Really smart side B to get back on stage. Put it something up. Clean grab and forth throw is gonna take the stock. And a nice up there and knee just goes right out there. He the knows like, to, like stay. But on the same, yeah, it's confidence but the same <laughs> confidence, B Bat's confident with those three down smashes. Yeah. But the thing is like as Falcon, you know that the risk reward is in your favor if you just go out there and just continue th like throwing out aerials. Because unless Peach does a really clean air dodge, no matter what the DI is, you're always able to get an aerial. It's just a matter of being able to either react or read to the perfect point where you can get that aerial out. So you can go out there without being in danger of Peach reversing it Yeah, because even if Peach reverses you, what happens? You get nared, you're back on stage, and Peach is floating towards you helplessly as you knee her in the face. Understood. Wow, Ooh, nice. Really, really good bait. So it Great looks like up. he's going to stomp out of, yeah, it looks like he's going to stomp out of shield. Goes back to stage and grabs because he knows that B-Bats has to shield that. Because if you don't shield that, like, what do you do? Just die? But you shield that and you get grabbed and you just die. Well, in like it, one or two it's more hits. Psychological warfare. Exactly. Really great DI to survive the up air at 149%. And the back air is going to take the stock. And Smucker's got some life in him. New York is yelling. They are cheering. They want their boy to win. I mean, this is New York versus New Jersey. We saw the, uh, the rivalry last week. New York was getting. Uh, I mean, with my money, New York was kind of getting a little rowdy when uh, when Aqua was taking that set. But that, that is true. New Jersey, you know, New Jersey's here to play. Oh man, I don't like New Jersey. Maybe I love New Jersey. <laughs> I will. I will. I, I even. I've been living in New York for six years. I will always root for Jersey. I, I'll be real. I, I don't. Oh I'm gonna be real. Serious? I'm Jersey. I'm Jersey at heart. What I got Jersey residency. I've never heard of this in my life. You live in New I York hang out now. with more. I hang out with the Jersey people you more than New York people. You hang out with Jersey people. Yeah. What part of New York do you live in? Manhattan, Upper How East are they not extra dangerous? <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I, I hang out with the Jersey people every day. That's crazy. I don't know what to tell you. You know what? It's all right. I used to live in Jersey for a little bit, and it wasn't terrible. Mm -hmm. It just, you know, it wasn't New York. Oh, oh come on. Speed Smoke sword? No! Oh, my that's God. He's going to die. Sword. Oh, my God. <laughs> the down just throws the sword down. Shadow <laughs> Robbing Smuckers with the sword. Oh, ends his whole career.